hello sports fans and White Sox fans especially. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. I'm here with some White Sox news. No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. As you know, um, training camp, training camp part two or spring training, spring training for baseball part two is about to open up in two days. And then we're going to have the start of the season on July 23rd or 24th. So, um, as you may or may not know, uh, because of the whole situation that we find ourselves in, um, Major League Baseball is allowing uh, not only an active roster of players at each game of 30 players, to begin the season, which will then fall to 28 at some point, and then which will fall again before the end of the season to 26. Originally, this season, it was going to be 26 players allowed on the active in-game roster, but they're going to start with 33, and then 28 and 26. So, but not only that, they also, since we don't have the minor leagues, I guess the minor leagues really aren't even going to play this year. So since there's no minor leagues, the situation that we're, we find ourselves with is that what Major League Baseball is going to do is allow every team a, a roster of 44 men. So the 30 active that can be at the park for each game and then, I guess, 14 additional players that can be in the area and from which you can draw on um, in case of injuries, in case one of them gets sick, that type of thing. So um, the 44-man um, available full roster is, um, is you know, what, what the team can draw from. So... Um, I'm going to go over today what the White Sox 44-man roster is. But before I get into that, two things. One thing is that the White Sox have actually signed their second-round pick, Jared Kelly. And um, the other thing I want to mention to you is if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Leave me a comment. Leave a like, a dislike whatever you know and um i and i want to let you know that i do plan to do white Sox content all throughout the year during you know the season after um so many games maybe after every two or three games every week always there'll always be like a white Sox update maybe we'll call it the white Sox report uh, just say yes and we'll move on i don't know but anyway going to be doing that. So anyway, that's what I wanted to get out of the way to let you know those things. And now let's get into the 44-man available roster that the White Sox will have. Many of these players you know. Many of them would have been, you know, part of the 26 that we all know would have made this, the squad um, if there had been a regular season starting um, in late March. But anyway, uh, the pitchers that they are going to have are Drew Anderson, who I don't even know, Aaron Bummer, Dylan Cease, Steve Ciszek, Alex Kalame, Jimmy Cordero, Ross Detweiler, um, Dane Dunning, Jace Fry, Carson Fulmer, Tyrone Guerrero, Lucas Giolito, Gio Gonzalez, Ian Hamilton, Kelvin Herrera, Cody Hewer, Tyler Johnson, Dallas Keuchel, uh, Michael Kopech, Jimmy Lambert, Ronaldo Lopez, Evan Marshall, Carlos Rodon, and Jose Ruiz. Now, uh, two of those guys... Carlos Rodon and Dane Dunning are working their way back from uh, Tommy John surgery. Carlos Rodon should be available, 
I want to say very quickly, almost immediately, I mean, this 60-game season, he shouldn't miss much of it. He should be available for a lot of it because um, originally the projection was that he would be ready after the All-Star break this year, and that's about the time that we're in right now. And then, of course, Dane Dunning, and we'll see what happens with that, uh, how ready he is. But anyway, he's one of their 44. Uh, catchers, Zach Collins, Yasmani Grandal, James McCann, and Yerman Mercedes, who you will remember was having a great spring when this whole pandemic thing hit and spring training had to be suspended. Uh, the infielders, Jose Abreu, Tim Anderson, Chesler Cuthbert, who came over from Kansas City, Edwin Encarnacion, Luri Garcia, Nick Madrigal, Danny Mendick, Johan Moncada, Andrew Romine, and Andrew Vaughn. Andrew Vaughn will be making their available to draw from 44 man. I thought that was very interesting because um, had this been a regular season with regular minor leagues, Vaughn would have been in the minor leagues and probably would not have been touchable. He probably would not have come up at all. Or maybe for a cup of coffee in September something, but he probably wouldn't have even made an appearance in a regular season. But he's going to be one of their 44 available men. And then the outfielders, uh, Louis Basabi. I don't know how you pronounce that name. I'm, that's my guess. Uh, Nicky Delmonico. Delmonico Steak is making it. Adam Engel. Eloy Jimenez. Nomar Mazzara. And Luis Robert. So, that's the 44 men. Um, anybody left out? Anybody you can think of? I mean, offhand... The only one I can think of, no, I don't, I mean, I don't remember his name. So anyway, uh, I mean, he, I guess he wasn't that good if I can't remember his name. Um, but uh, there was like a DH type guy. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Um, Polka. Yeah. Um, I, I, it seems like Polka's missing. So I don't know. Why he's not on there, maybe he's sick, maybe, you know, whatever, he came down with the virus, I don't know. Maybe they traded him, maybe they cut him, you know, I have no idea. I mean, Andrew Romine, I thought, was on Detroit, so. Anyway, that's what we got. That's the 44 men that will be available to the White Sox, but only 30 of them will be at any given game, at any given time. Um, to begin the season, and then it'll be cut to 28 and then 26. So what do you guys think of that uh, roster? I mean, it's, you know, pretty much it's the same roster we were expecting we were going to have. Um, and what do you think about the uh, upcoming season? I mean, it's gonna. what's really going to be interesting about this season, I think, is you're going to run into um, potentially spectacular performances. You could have a guy hit 400. You could have a guy hit a home run in almost every game. I mean, that's possible. Uh, you could have a pitcher that has an ERA uh, like as low as like what Bob Gibson had in 1968, like a 112 earned run average. Outlier stats like that will be very possible in a 60-game season, so it'll be interesting to see if that happens. But... Anyway, I just wanted to update you guys, and I'm letting you know, all season long, throughout the season, I will be here with White Sox content uh, once we really get rolling. But that's going to be it for right now for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.